I like how how you say you know my wife. You know, is is that is that something you like saying now? Uh, I don't like saying it. I love saying it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, me. Did you pray for Sarah G? How did you know that she was the one? Did I pray for Sarah G? My gosh, if you just don't, if kung alam mo lang ilang prayers, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but uh, um, paano ba? Sabi nila, how would you? I, I always ask before I got married. I, I would always ask people. Sabi, sabi ko, how do you know when the time is right to propose or be more, I want her to be my wife? How do you know? And they would always tell me, Mate, you would just know. You would just know. So a few, few a year ago or a few years ago, sabi ko, okay, you'll just know. You'll just know. I love this girl so much, but how do you just know? How do you just know? So I was looking for that just know. Sarah and I, we were together for six years. Sabi ko, I really love this girl. I want to be with her for the rest of my life. But Shepre, there's still doubts in my heart na how do you take the leap of faith? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be separated from my, from my family. I'm not gonna be with them anymore. I'll start my own family. I want to do that, but did I have the courage to do that? And how do you just know? Days would just go, days, days, days. And just one day, Brother Bo, I just knew. I just knew. Like, I, don't, I don't understand why. I always knew. Huh? I always knew. I always knew. That's why my relationship lasted for six years with all the challenges and all, everything. Yeah. There was just a day where I just knew. Do I make sense? Because I feel Absolutely. like I don't make sense. No, so, no, no. Yeah. I just knew. Uh, yun. Uh, and when I when I knew, that's when I when I took more steps. I that's when I planned my proposal, blah blah blah, all that stuff. But yun, it, it just hit me. It it parang is that God working? <laughs> Maybe you know we don't know. But yeah, yun, yun. I don't know if you want to answer some questions. Let's see. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, uh, Sarah is attending Victory Church and Mateo Group and Catholic Church. How did you grow grew your faith together or your Sunday church arrangement? Yeah. How do you uh, answer that? Sarah grew up also a Catholic in 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 Catholic Church, um, but she she really started enjoying um, Victory, you know, especially uh, um, the people she met there. And she introduced me actually, like we we're we we're talking. Sarah introduced me to Pastor Paolo and ah, uh, para. I, when I met Pastor Paolo, it was a feeling when I met, the same feeling when I met you, uh, Brother Bo. Parang, I felt like I knew you guys for a long time. Parang, I met a family member. Parang ganun. Pastor Paolo would always give us, would guide us, give us, would consult us, would, would, would give us wisdom and, 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 and guide, 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 guide our way. Kumbaga, no? I don't, how do you explain this? I think in the end of the day, we, 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 we look up to one God. That's the most important part there. Um, that's right. That's to right. One God and we have to be good people. We have to be positive people, and not just for ourselves, but for other people. That's that, in the end of the day, yeah. it's, it's what we share and how we how we share, you know, and how we help the community. Do I make sense? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Each other. We love God together. We serve God together. Right. So it's really possible. Patricia is asking, uh, can you have Sarah as guest too, so we can hear her <laughs> insights also as a married woman? If this happens, you'll be the first person to do Sarah after her wedding. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. The time, she's not here because she's recording now, but uh, yeah, but hopefully we'll see in the future. Yeah. Some comments here about how, how uh, okay, Mary, Michelle, what is it that you love about Sarah? What are your love languages? What do I love about Sarah? I mean, I love her because, you know, I feel like love, of course, but trust is very, very important. In a relationship, you must tr have that trust. It's the first time like, I, I, I really trust wholeheartedly in everything, no? Aside from love, trust. The trust is the foundation of any relationship. So if there is no trust, there is no relationship. Uh, everything's not perfect. Uh, there are things that uh, so many challenges we're going, going through and... And but we're trying to stay as proactive as possible. I think that's what's very very important. Um, as weeks come by, we're getting more and more. We're getting busier and busier. Uh, my wife is getting busier with her work. They're starting to really tape yeah. uh, already, physically outside yeah. the house. So it's kind of scary, but we just have to be cautious about everything. Ako naman, I'm very lucky. Everything's online. Yeah. So but everything is good. I like how how you say you know my wife. You know is is that is that something you like saying now? 
Uh, I don't like saying it. I love saying it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's, it's yeah. amazing. How's married life from somebody who's been married for 22 years? How's somebody who's married for a few months? I, I need your wisdom. I need your, your coaching also <laughs> after this. We can talk more. But um, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's great. And I recommend it to everybody. I recommend it to all my friends. As long as you found the right one, as long as you wholeheartedly love the person, I think it's just the best chapter of, of one's life. Woo! I, re I remember that uh, we were in, in, in your restaurant and we were chatting and then I, I looked at you and in my mind, I was saying, you know, this, this young man needs a wife. And so, <laughs> so there you did it. Thank you. So we, we, did it. we did it. But, you know, I'm, I'm saying right now, I'm being totally honest. It's not, it hasn't been perfect. The ride hasn't been perfect. There, there are bumps everywhere. Um, but uh, I think yeah. anything good comes with challenges, no? So Absolutely. Uh, at the end of the day, we're very blessed. We're very blessed. It was it was kind of a crazy um, crazy month last year of this of last month now because I really wanted to join the army, but my parents, um, Sarah and my manager, did not allow me. And I was like, I re my mind and my heart was was onto it. And they gave the army gave me a schedule. Your training starts this time, but nobody allowed. So um, I, I I missed that slot. And I was seeking for, for ways to persuade my manager, Sarah, and my parents. And anyways, I found, I, I found several ways. I, I, I was able to, to present this, uh, this, this project, this activity to the president. I don't know how I, I got there, but I did. And that day, he said, wow, this is very good, Mateo. You know, we have to encourage, um, we have to encourage the youth about with the army etc and he said yes so i went home i went to my restaurant the Jani, actually and i told my parents ma pa the president says yes you can't say no anymore it's the president <laughs> and i i called my manager sabi ko boss please i need to go to the army sabi niya mat okay sige pagpasok mo doon kailangan lumabas ka na may documentary ka i shoot mo yun sabi ko paano ba i shoot to you think the you think the army will allow so that took several negotiations for the army to allow us to shoot um to document our training. Anyways, so after a while, he said yes. And that night in the Jani, my parents said yes. Boss Vic said yes. And guess who's there eating with his family? Brother Bo. <laughs> he was there. So, sobrang kapal na mukha ko. I went up to him and I said, Brother Bo, I have to tell you something. And then you stood up. I, re I clearly remember that day because it also popped out my Facebook feed a few days ago. And um, wow. we, were, we were standing by the bathroom and you said, Mateo, let's pray. And then we prayed there in front of everybody. I remember that. <laughs> I told you. So you were part of the journey, Brother Bo. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. How do you do all that you do? How do I do all? Okay. Ah, uh, uh, wow. Um, I guess it's just prioritizing things, no? That's very, very important. I, I was very lucky, and I'm very lucky to have a very, very supportive family. Um, my parents, extremely supportive. Um, and um, and they really taught me the sense of discipline and being passionate in, in the things you do. And I'm very lucky now today that I also have a very supportive uh, wife. Um, so I guess it's the system. It's the, it's the people around you that's very, very important. You know? I, if I didn't have these people around me, I, I wouldn't think I would be able to do um, the things I'm doing. You know? So yeah, yeah. I think it's the people around me, the support system. Mateo, now that you're a, a, a husband, how does your faith uh, impact that? Um, hold on. Oh, papasok, please. Papasok, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's a delivery up. I think that's husband, husband duties. No? <laughs> <laughs> There's a delivery that had to come up. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm very lucky, uh, uh, Brother Bona. The community we built, Sarah and I, uh, when we got married, sila Pastor uh, Paulo Punzalan, no? they were yeah. uh, they were there and 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 guiding us and giving us wisdom, kumbaga. And I I have an, another priest that's very very close to me, si Father uh, Mani, Father Mani. Anyways, um, we we seek help always. Always we we give them phone calls, texts, and and ask for advice because. There are times where just it's it's difficult. It's difficult, and I think at the end of the day, we just have to take a moment and, and just pray. You know, like sometimes I give you an example when you when you have arguments and stuff, you just stop and just 
Lord, please give me patience. <laughs> Tama ba ako, uh, brother? Because you yes, yes. I, I need true. to learn from you. <laughs> I mean, marriage is really, I believe, a school of love. You know, it's it's there where you learn patience. It's there where you learn uh, sacrifice. And I, I always tell people, you know, people who want to get married, people are thinking of getting married, I always tell them, uh, do you know how to sacrifice? Because this is going to be the theme of every single day of your life, you know, um, self-sacrifice. So if you're able to do that, then go ahead and get married. But if you don't, then, you know, marriage is not for you. It's better that you don't get married <laughs> because it's, it's really a dying, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm sure you've, you've, you've heard this passage from, read this passage from, from the Bible where, where St. Paul says that, um, you know, husbands love your wife the way Christ loved the church. So... Uh, how did he love the church? He died. So, right. uh, and I'm sure you know you you yeah you've got a good heart. Like just talking to you now confirms that you you just have a good heart, Mateo, and wow. and you love Sarah. So, thank you, you thank uh, you. The decision to sacrifice every day for her is uh, you, you'll you'll you. have thank a great you. marriage. Thank you, thank <laughs> you very much. We need all the prayers. We all right, all of us. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, what's what's the future for you, Mateo? Um, how do you see the future five, ten years from from now? Well, five, ten years from now, I know we have kids already. You know, we have kids, and then little Sarah and little Mateo is running around. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that. But you know, honestly, Sarah and I, we have we have a lot of dreams together for each other individually and as a couple. Um, um, it's it's very nice because uh, I was talking to Pastor Paolo actually, and I was saying, you know, when 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 two people combine, he said he used this word, and I still remember up to now, they synergize and become better individuals together. Yeah. They, they yes. synergize. Yeah. So I'm very very excited with what Sarah and I can do together to synergize as as individuals and and to reach reach our dreams and accomplish our dreams for the future. You know. So did I make sense? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's going to be a, a beautiful journey. So, thank you. So, so you you pray together as a couple. You. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do actually. We do every night. We, we pray together before going to bed. And and actually, her while I'm while I'm working out, she's on the she's in the Bible on the Bible, um, reading the Bible every morning. I have to learn That's... how to do that. Be like her, yep. but. She she's she steps ahead of me in that in that aspect. <laughs> That's good.